Hi viewers, this is a smart mobile motor pump controller. In this video, I am going to explain you how to use the RMG smart motor pump controller app. As a first step, download and install the RMG smart motor pump controller app from the play store. Once it is installed, open the app and it leads into the login page. So here I have installed the app and it leads into the login page. You need to enter your name, your Gmail ID and mobile number. I am writing my name. And I am typing my Gmail ID. then your mobile number so once you have entered this there is a login button just give login you will receive an OTP so you have to enter that OTP here and give verify OTP so I have received the OTP and just Hi. click on verify OTP And it leads into the main dashboard. So this is the main dashboard. And in this main dashboard you will be able to see on the left top corner our logo. And then the app name. And next to it there is a refresh button which is showing green color. Suppose if it is showing in green color it means it is connected to our RMG cloud server. If it is showing in red color it means it is not yet connected to the RMG cloud server. In that case you need to enable the internet in your phone and try it once again. And on the bottom of the app, you will be able to see a button called Add Device. Here, by pressing the, by clicking this Add Device button, it will ask for the serial number and activation code or you can simply scan it. Now, I will do it for you. So, you will be given these two. You can enter it or scan it. Scanning will be very easy. Give Allow and scan the QR code given. And you will be able to see the device is added here. Okay. Now let's go into the detail of the app. So even more details are there in this app. So here you can see on the left top side there is a blue color indication which indicates the GSM signal strength. If it's showing in red color the strength is not there. That means there is some issue. Okay. Next to the signal strength, there is a name that is motor pump name. So you can keep the name of the motor as per your desire. To change this name, you can use this setting icon. So here you can have the name as you wish. I am keeping it as motor number 1. and save so once you have done the name is changed here and then the upcoming features here is the power on time so this denotes whenever the power is come that is the last power on time it shows here and then comes the operated by so whoever you uh, whoever users have you uh, operated it that uh, number that user number will display here here G if gsm itself has done it shows gsm then it gives the operated time the last operated time and date will be displayed here and apart from this there are three indications shown one for motor pump on off status if the motor is in on condition it will show in green color if it is in off condition it will show in red color and then comes the dry run and overload if the motor has gone in dry, dry condition or it, it has stopped due to overload condition this will be denoted through this indications and next comes the timer options there are totally two types of timer options in this app one is stop timer another one is schedule timer stop timer means you will set a time and after the set time is over the motor will stop and schedule time means you give the real time slots where in these two cases if you are opting it this timer timer indications will give you the condition 
like whichever condition you have applied then comes the manual on manual on denotes if the motor is operated manually through your starter then this indication will denote and last uh, you have another indication for line fault line fault in uh, like there are three conditions like when there is a single phase fail or phase imbalance or phase reverse in all these three conditions this line fault indication comes up and then comes the current that means which when your motor runs whatever amps that is going to take that will be denoted here when you press it you will be able to see whatever amps that the motor is taking okay during the running condition and then and then you can see there are two buttons where you can turn on and turn off the motor manually i'm just turning it on you can see the indication here and you can see the green color indication here i am just turning it off and it is denoted in the red color so these are all the basic features in this app now we'll go even more details inside the app where you have the setting icon here i already showed you to change the name of the motor and other stuff but um, apart from that there are so many options in this uh, uh, setting icon where you can see sms reply enable disable where if you want a if you want the reply to come automatically you can enable it if you don't want you can disable it and then comes the auto on enable disable here whenever the power comes to the device some people want to turn on the motor so in that condition you can enable that or you can disable that and it is denoted with an indication too and then comes the line check already i told you there are three conditions where there is single phase failure and third con uh, second condition is phase imbalance or phase reverse in such condition if you want to check the lines then you can enable it otherwise you can disable then comes the feedback feedback is what you can understand when, when like when the motor is in the running condition current status of the motor the running condition of the motor to take that feedback through the ct coil in such condition you can enable it or disable it so if you enable you will be able to read the motor running status and you can also set the overload current setting and uh, dry run current setting using these text boxes and then the timer feature we already discussed the stop timer like for the particular time you want to run the motor and automatically turn off you can set the time here in this text box and if you click on this motor will start and after the set time is over motor will automatically cut off then comes the scheduler scheduler is a uh, even more uh, detailed uh, details even more details found in this app that is you have the total five schedules total five schedules are there where you can set the on time and off time so this green color text box is for setting the on time and this red color text box is to set the off time so like that you have five slots and you can set the time and give save the data will be stored and in case if you want to reset these times the reset the time then you can use this button reset button okay then then comes the last but not the least the user list so if you click this user list you will be able to first of all save the user numbers as well as you can also see the stored uh, user list so all these things you can find in the user list okay then you can use this home button to come back to the main dashboard so these are all the features that we can find in this app once again i will uh, turn on and turn off the motor to show you how it's working very beautifully uh, see the indications have changed so what i would like to uh, confer uh, in this video is that you have to choose a sim whereas uh, where it should have a data package and you can uh, control the device through internet okay uh, so this is really a very uh, upgraded uh, thing that we have done in this gsm unit so uh, you can control from anywhere okay through internet so that is what the speciality of this product so i would like to um, uh, emphasize uh, that this product is going to be a real real boon for every one of us okay so please do try this product okay and uh, you have to purchase this product and try this app this will really help you a lot thank you